there are two incidents that immediately stand out in my mind. The first is the day that changed my life. That's what I call it. So here I am working what I thought was my dream job. And out of the blue, I'm called into a meeting. And from that meeting, they tell me that I should resign. In that moment, I asked, am I being fired? I couldn't get over it. I was devastated, overwhelmed, angry, upset, all of those feelings. Here I was working at a job, taking care of the most vulnerable people in our population, abused children. And now my own safety and security were going to be jeopardized. I had so many questions in my mind. How am I going to take care of myself? How am I going to pay my bills? Am I going to be able to get another job? And the sad part about this situation is they never really gave me a reason why they wanted me to resign. I had to talk to myself and I had to really give myself a good pep talk and say, girl, you have got to get yourself together. I realized that if I wasn't able to care for myself, I wasn't going to be able to care for anyone else. Now, fast forward to 2015. I'm having another life changing experience. This time I become part of the sandwich generation. Do you know what that is? The sandwich generation are people who are sandwiched between taking care of children and their aging parents. And that's the situation I found myself in. My mom was facing some serious medical conditions, which required me taking her to and from appointments many times in a week. Some of those appointments were even in another state. At the same time, my middle schooler, she had activities and things that she was involved in. School, band, dance, Girl Scouts. There was no way I could be two places at once. I found myself overwhelmed and just not knowing what I was going to do. So from those two situations, I learned that I can become not just the victim, but I could go to the victor. And so that's what we do with our clients today. We teach you that no matter whatever trial or adversity you're facing, you can get over it, you can get through it, you can come out. Oh, my God.